Hola, amigos. Hola, I meant hola. <laughs> yeah, I don't speak Spanish. Um, so this is part two candles by Victoria review August order. Um, because I got my husband, who I love, who is just cheaper than cheap, to let me order some candles. Um, I'm sorry, my hair is driving me crazy. After I had the baby, I swear I thought I was going to go bald. But apparently I lose all my hair that I gained during pregnancy, like right here. So for the next several months, I'm going to look really pretty. Because all my little baby hairs are growing back in. And I can't get them to lay down. So just don't look at it. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, sorry, enough whining. Um, next, I got a, excuse me, Christmas one um, based on Liz's love for this. And it is Yuletide. Now this one, um, I think it says it's cedarwood and a light orange. Uh, this one, I smell no citrus in this. I smell straight up cedar. And for those of you who live in the good old Pacific Northwest, specifically the rainy portion of it, this smells just like walking outside in the woods. It's You can smell the cedar in the trees. It's nice. It's not, it's not your typical Christmas scent. It's very, very earthy, very... Um, woodsy it's like straight up wood like you crack open the bark and you stick your nose in and you get that big whiff of cedar that's what this is or just like a, if you have a cedar a cedar chest that's what this smells like to me maybe the orange will come out when I melt it I do have plans to mix it with something so I'll let you know how that goes and Lauren if you're watching this baby girl you would love this smell because I know you love the earthy stuff that one is good. Next, I got Papa Water Lily. This one I got based on Barbara and Amanda. They had their big, huge gargantuan. Please be, please be my best friends and buy me five million pounds of candles. Just kidding. Um, I got this when they were talking about their huge haul that they did together. Um, the like 500 pound boxes. This smells really good. It smells, I get the same note as um, the water lily one that she just came with, sea salt and lotus blossom. Yeah. I get kind of the same note in this of the, the, the lotus or lily note. Smells similar. Mm, but this is good. It's almost like a tropically floral fruit scent. It's really good. It's really juicy. Kind of makes my mouth water. <laughs> so I have to like swallow so I don't spit all over the camera. Um, I'm like picking and choosing here. Next I got Garden Mint. I got that one based on a couple other people's love of it too. Um, this to me smells a lot like Bergmont and Herbal Mint. Um, I can almost taste it when I breathe. Yeah, it's like this nice, fresh, gardeny, gardeny. Sorry, my breath away. Garden, <laughs> garden mint. It's just straight up mint with a little bit of green leafiness in it as well. It's really good and really strong. Kind of takes your breath away a little bit. Makes your nose burn. <coughs> then I gotta clear my sinuses. Also, based on Barbara and Amanda, you horrible people making me wanna buy stuff. I almost said bergamot and herbal mint, pomegranate and mango. I can't read backwards on the camera, okay, people? This one is a very pretty, pretty, pretty color of orange. It's kind of like that burnt, almost like a pumpkin-y orange. This one is so, so good. <sighs> so good. If 
you like the pomegranate, if you like her pomegranate scents and you like her mango scents, why are you putting off getting this one? I mean, together, it's just pure deliciousness. They, it's almost, if this were a fruity drink, I would chug gallons of this. It would hurt my guts because I have, like, acid reflux issues, but I would drink it. It's one of those ones that you can just tell is going to be really juicy. I can always tell they're going to be juicy by when I smell them and they make me salivate. Um, it's really, really, really juicy. If it was a Starburst, I, I can almost imagine it's a Starburst um, flavor. It's that juicy. Um, very tropical, very fruity, very good, very delicious. Last, I did not expect to like this one as much as I did. I got sugared corn pudding. I put this one off for so long, you guys, because I thought, ew, gross, sugared corn pudding? Why do I want a scent shot that smells like corn? Seriously? So, after everybody's been raving about it, I finally was a sheep and followed the fold and just went and bit the bullet and got it. Ugh, this is like, this is like my granny's pie crust. Oh, 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 oh. I want to eat it. Oh, this is so good. It's like creamy. If this was a dessert, I would eat this, even if it was made out of corn. Oh, it's so good. You get a light corn note in this. It's not, it's, I want to say it's like creamed corn. It's kind of that creamy corn smell where it's a little bit sweet but this just smells like bubbly it smells like there's a little tiny bit of a bakery type cinnamon in there and some butter I can just imagine this coming out of the oven like sprinkled in I've never even seen corn pudding but I could just imagine it coming out in like a casserole dish all bubbly and gooey and um, with a little bit of cinnamon yumminess in it that is it's so so good so good and then I got three candles hey wanna come out here and say hi honey <laughs> huh. he doesn't wanna come out here he doesn't wanna talk to you I got honey vanilla love dust I got this one cause everybody's been raving about it and I thought I'll just buy the candle because everybody's liking it so much this one is really, really good. It smells pretty buttery to me. Buttery and um, I do smell the chocolate in there, but I don't smell any honey. Is there supposed to be honey in there? I think there is. Mm, that's a good one. Buttery, gooey, yummy. I got like two minutes, so I got to really hurry. Next, I got Eskimo Kisses. Bravo, Deb. Bravo. This is really, really good. I smell, it's like, the spearmint is good. You can smell it in there. It doesn't burn your nose, doesn't kill you because it's overpowering. And it's got this nice, um, the Vanilla Bean Noel really balances it out quite well. It's like a creamy mint yumminess. I can see how this is a Christmas-ish scent. Very good. And last in this beautiful terrain, oh, it looks good in this lighting too. I got my Create a Scent in Harvest Moon, not under the Harvest Moon. This is um, pumpkin cider mixed with apples and oaks. And I got it in the copper glitter. <sighs> I did a good job with this one. Um, I have glitter all over me now. Yep. Um, oh, the pumpkin. And the apple really go good together. And then there's the nice sweet cider note. <sighs> and then there's the tiny, tiny, tiny bit of wood. So this just, it, it reminds me of like trick-or-treating when I was little. And you get cider afterwards. And you're all cold and it warms you up. And mm, this is just like Halloween yumminess, goodiness. Okay, I got like eight seconds. Love you guys. See you later. Bye-bye.